Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve this problem Manasa and Stones in Python programming language. So in this problem we have given three variables that is n, a and b. a and b indicates the difference between the stones and n is the number of stones we have to travel to. So what we have to do basically is we have to find the addition by doing all the permutation and combinations of this differences a and b with adding these numbers this n times so if you see here n is 2 so we have to add it twice uh, with all the number of combinations here so the number of combinations are 2 plus 2 2 plus 3 3 plus 2 and 3 plus 3 so the result we get is 4 5 and 6 so the last stone will have a number as 4 5 and 6 and that we have to return so we'll directly go to here and we'll I'll just explain you the test cases though so the first number indicates the number of test cases the second number indicates the number of stones this includes the number of this includes the zero stone and in this example zero stone was not included so here we have to consider zero stone also so zero stone will be our starting stone and this one and two will be our difference and that we have to add and to reach the last stone and we have to return the number on the last stone and this is the second test case as it was two test cases defined here and the second test case having four number of stones including zero so we'll be adding this 10 and 100 three times in one combination and we have to check all the permutation and combinations there and we have to reach the last stone and we have to check what is the number on that last stone so if you see here the number of the number at the last stone will have only three possible combinations as the total total number of stones were three and the number of stone which are possible are only four as the total number of stones were four so the end result will have the same number of elements as the number of stones we have given to so as this permutation and combination will repeat after some time as the number of stones will keep on increasing so the end result will have the same number of elements as the number of stones we have given initially so in this case there are three number of elements in the resultant array and there are three number of stones which we have given in this case there are four so the resultant array will have four as the combinations will repeat as if you see here in the second combination 0 plus 10 plus 10 plus 100 is ending at 120 and here at the third 0 plus 10 plus 100 plus 100 is ending at 120 so plus 100 plus 100 plus 10 sorry ending at 120 so that way we have to keep in mind and we have to solve this problem so to the code part what we have to do is we have to take a set and then what I'm going to do is I am going to check if a is greater than b then a comma b equal to b comma a that way a will always have a smaller value and B will always have a bigger value and after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a for loop till range of n as the end result will having only the n possibilities so the for loop will run till range n and then what we have to do is we have to add in this resultant set and the formula will be i into a plus and minus 1 minus i into p so what this is going to do is i will keep on increasing which will keep on increasing the multiplication of this and in this case this n minus 1 minus i will keep on decreasing so the multiplication of this will keep on decreasing and that way we'll get all the possible combinations in our result and after that what we have to do is we have to sort our result 
and we have to convert it to list and we just have to return this so after returning this we'll just run this code and our all test cases are passed we'll submit this code so all the test cases are passing so this is the code which you can use to solve this problem so thank you for watching